How's it going? Welcome back for another ASMR video. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Overwatch video again, and uh, today we're going to be uh, doing some coaching for Ryan and Zarya. So what I've done is I went ahead and sent a request to many of you to send in some interesting games. Um, so again, if you want to send me uh, your footage, you can do so at uh, Nathan ASMRs with an S at gmail.com. Um, but anyway, so I just went ahead and uh, recorded the VOD and we're just gonna look through his gameplay, try to see if we can um, figure out a few things that would be helpful for, um, you know, improving overall and just maybe some rank climbing tips. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into this one. And again, if you have any your own VOD you want to send to me, um, I would love to take a look. It's again, NathanASMRs at gmail.com. So let's go ahead and hop into this. And because it's a bit of a long match, uh, it's about uh, 23 minutes. So um, let's just go ahead and uh, jump into this right now here. All right, so we've got our match loaded up here. Um, so we're just gonna load right into it. Um, first of all, the, one of the things that I can tell you for sure here is that Junkertown is a large map on this first point. So a ranged character would probably would have been the better choice here. Um, and then maybe choosing a ride later on. But I do think maps can really be um, like, character choices with relation to which map it is, yeah, you know, it can be really important. So, um, again, we're just going to go over some tips and my thoughts as we play along. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start this. Okay. So we can see here we've got a Reinhardt, a um, Ash, Zarya, a Mercy, and a Sombra. Um, I think, and on the other side, we have a Zarya, Ryan, Farah, Baptiste, and Anna. So again, this is plat gold range, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and you know, I, I forgot to mention earlier, but this um, video was sent in from a gentleman named Vittorio, so thank you so much for sending this in. I really appreciate it. It um, means a lot. So Let's take a look here. Okay, going up to the high ground there. Let's go and put it in full screen mode. Nice dance moves, I like that. That's 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 nice. Very ASMR movements there. Okay. Alright, you know, so I'm gonna stop it right there. Um I don't know if you saw that, but you sort of shot out a fire strike um and now you have a four second cooldown so when i think you're beginning you're sort of just um just doing whatever you're you're not necessarily reading the match um so if you had just waited like a couple more seconds uh you would have gotten like a much better uh chance to land that fire strike because he sort of threw one that was just kind of like into the ether and if you just give yourself a couple seconds take a deep breath and then do the fire strike you'd already be here maybe at 20 percent, but instead you missed it so you know i think those little details do make a difference um when you're trying to climb so let's continue All right, so they're just jumping right in there. Um, okay, so you've lost position again, and I think... So, you know, I think it's really important as Ryan, once you lose your position, um, because you did get knocked off here by this Pharah. And I think if you had... Um, Attempted a better position here. It looks like you're gonna maybe push forward here, but yeah, maybe just really try to pull back here just a little bit um, 
and you didn't really look where your teammates were, so that's super important with Ride. Just take that extra second to turn around and then look and see um, what's there. So let's continue. Okay, you did pull back a little bit there, so that was good. Um, I'll point out some of the good things too, not just the bad. Um, okay, so your mortar had died in the back there. So they're pushing into you pretty heavily there. So you can see that your ash died here. Um, and they have a fair, so you're down to basically no hit scan. Um, and you're being a little aggressive on this push here. So I think if you had been actually just pulled back a little bit more, because again, you're just like... As Ryan, you're really putting yourself in there as a meat shield, and if you're dead, you can't shield anything. So here, I would have pulled back, maybe pushed towards that um, hallway, or maybe pushed towards the Mega. Um, not here, but like on the other side. I think that might have really helped you out there. So let's continue here. Yeah, so you did die. Uh, the Moira, unfortunately, looks like was... It actually looks like both your healers may have been dealing with that Thera in the back, and I think if you had looked back, if, if you had pulled back, looked back at the rest of your team and seen where they are, you might have played this differently here. Um, and I think that maybe you would have gotten out alive here. Now you're going to have a pretty hard reset, so let's see what happens. Okay. So it looks okay. Nice charge. I like that. I get charging in. That's it's gonna again. You know, I think we can really just stop for a second here. And as Ryan, you're really trying to look behind you and to see where your teammate is. And I think right here, again, you're charging in, which I liked the charge because you did save time. But if you just take an extra five seconds. To quick turn around and see where everybody is because where is everybody here i think we saw zarya there and then we saw mercy here she's obviously connected i think it's a zarya she's connected to um but i think if you had taken a, a second to just see where your teammates were then it would have been more helpful so we're pushing in your moira's down you're pushing in hard so you're gonna stagger here i would have very much considered pulling back and letting them take this so then like your reset to take them at the next point because now that your moira is down you're most likely going to lose this and you're going to lose even more ground um so let's just see what happens right here your moira's back on uh, ashes Okay, Ash, got some good plays there. Okay, looks like you may actually may have held this. So, okay. Nice fire strike. That was good. That was good. Um, so, what happened here was that the Ash killed four people. Um, you can see here, just almost no health. That's just really three here. In my opinion, had this been a high rank, you would have not probably gotten that point. And I do think, you know, it is about time. I mean, you are, it's 235. So the longer you hold, the better. Um, this worked out. Um, but it very likely might not have, and it may have been better to just play the smart play. Um, but in this case, your Ash went ham and got a pretty good amount of kills. So let's continue here. Okay. You're on the corner, I like that. That's really nice. Although, hey, okay, you did look back at your team. That was really, that was good. That was solid. So, okay, I like that. You know, I think we should add something here, which is that, um, you know, one of the most important things as a Reinhardt is that you're shielding your team 
and you're dueling the other Reinhardt. You're really keeping track of his shield. You're getting in his face, um, and you're really focused. Okay, so like he has 91%. Usually, um, the old charges will be fairly similar in my experience. Um, Shatter can really uh, just win you one fight. So that's why it's so important. Um, but let's continue here. So you're holding this corner. They've got four ults. You've got two. Nice hack. You know, okay, so right here, I see a lot of Reinhardts. They get really greedy. Um, they move in a little bit too quick. I think if you had held your shield up and waited for the right moment, you could have probably um, got a big, pretty big play. I might have... You fire striked here, I might have just shattered that because that would have been a wipe right there. So instead you died. Um, now, I mean, McCree looks like he has his ult, um, so he could have probably killed you if you had... But that shatter would have worked, I think. And we've got sort of a subpar um, graph. Let's see here. Okay. Looks like you may have come out victorious on that fight. You did lose your Zarya, so that was unfortunate. I'd back up here. You have to see here, yeah, you're vulnerable on the right side. You're holding your shield sort of in front of it. I might have backed up. Um, you're kind of holding your shatter a little long here. I would have used it. He's got his. Okay, nice block. That was a good read. This might be the time I would use it here. Let's see. You're looking to use it, I think. So, you're swinging, you're fire striking. And, okay. Hold in that corner again. He, again, you hold on to that fire striker. Um, the shatter pretty long. Uh, he's already at twenty-five six percent. You haven't even used yours yet. Oh, you're down one. See how he used right there. Ah. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna wipe this. No. I I would say what I would have done was I would have used it like two or three supper moments there. Um. You were doing really well. I think you made some good positioning choices there, but with the ult, you could have won a fight and maybe bought yourself an extra, like, 30 to 40 seconds, which would have been really useful. Um, okay, we're not, look we're not looking back again here. Again, I think you could really benefit from, like, just taking a step back and really looking back at where your team is. All right, so we're just shielding up here. Oh, you're sort of... I mean, who are you shielding here? I think let's stop to look here. I mean, because you've got the healers here. Um, you've got Zarya. You've got Sombra here. I didn't see the ash behind you. Um, so you're sort of... It feels like something's being done, but it does seem like maybe you're just kind of holding up your shield um, unnecessarily. I think you're just, you're just taking damage, and they're just healing you. It's sort of a loop. I did see there's the Ash. He's not really behind your shield. You know, but look now, see here, it's really important because your team is split. Um, I think in this situation, what would have been really helpful is taking a step back and, like, you know, trying to yell at your team here a little bit because as a Reinhardt, you know, I think being a leader is a super good quality. It's super important because, you know, you can pull your team together here. Right now, you're at risk of a uh, split, which I think could be really dangerous. If they pop up in the spawn over here in the far left side, then um, you might have some issues. Yeah, okay, so they managed to get two picks, so you did win this fight here, most likely. Yeah, so your Ash is, is doing pretty well. I definitely would push in here, yeah, that was a good move. Just try to try to clear them. But um, just the 
this is a good move because you're wanting to like eat. there's only two of them and hopefully your team is behind you but you want to be really stepping back to um see if your team is there because you know you you see one person there but i'm not sure if everyone's there with you normally this would be what i would do but um, again we just want to make sure that our team is with us so I'm still having you shatter here, which... Okay. I would shatter that right there. So, um, one thing that I think is a good play in general is when you see a Rhine that is, um, a nano like that, I often will shatter or, like, sort of do, like, a, a charge somewhere where he doesn't know it's coming up. If you can delay him or just reposition him so that he can't get to your team, then you're really helping. So right here, he's got Shatter, you have Shatter. You could have easily popped this off and you would have prevented him from killing people and you probably would have gotten a kill, maybe. So instead, you're right, he, that was a good bubble, but you lost two um, when you could have probably shattered that in. Not lost any. So, okay. So it looks like you came out victorious in that fight. I still would be pretty. Um... Okay, that was that's good that you went back. Uh, grabbing your mercy is always, you know, a smart plan. <laughs> so holding high ground. You know, let's stop here again. You have Moira, but the rest of the team isn't really there. So you're sort of just um, peacocking here, in my opinion. And, and I do think that that is kind of an important skill with Reinhardt, but, um, you know, it's super important to be uh, creating, actually, like, a really positive impact on the fight. And here, you're sort of just isolating yourself. Um, and they're sort of splitting you again. Okay. I tried to do that the spicy soldier uh, ult from behind there, but it didn't work out. Okay. It's not like really bad synergy here. You do have um, like your somber and your ash, especially. They're they're getting some stuff done here. Um, your Moira is dying a lot, though. I've seen her in the back line there getting killed a lot so that is probably one of the reasons that there may have been some difficulties I do think here sort of a weird graph okay let's what happened there let's let's go back here you're coming in um, oh, he's got his window so okay let's see oh wow that's a lot of damage. <laughs> um, so, I'm not sure what you could have. I think you should have just held your shield up because you do see your three quarters, especially with a window up. Their, their Zarya is max charged, so you just took like a really huge hit. Let's continue. So, you're dead. Let's see if your Mercy can get the res off. She did. That's great. Rotate that. You want to be rotating, thinking about your positioning. See, you're sort of... I mean, let's see. This positioning here is actually kind of bad. Um, I might have transitioned more over here. I might have come across this bridge over here. The problem here is now you're exposed to um, whoever is back uh, where you came from here. Um... And then these people, and he's going to charge you, I think. Um, and you still have your shatter. You are, you are holding your shatter for a little bit. Um, quite a bit of time. Okay, fast forward a second there, but... You leave, you all leap down. That's uh, unfortunate. Now, one thing I can tell you for sure. You swung the earth shatter 
and then you didn't land it. So you got kind of upset, and you're like, ah, I'm just going to swing. <laughs> I'm pissed. That's, I've done that many times. So you missed the shatter. I probably would have held onto up my shield, and I would have quickly reset in my brain there, because I think you did sort of do like a, a move that puts your team at risk here. I think the Zarya is going to die right here, it looks like. Let's just see. Okay, no, he didn't charge. Oh, there we go. That's why. So... Looks like you've lost this point here. Okay, crazy charge. Bob's there. Yeah, I, I would leave this. Yeah, smart plan. Okay, you did look at your team right there. That was good. You need to just do that about 50% more, or even maybe more. You would be um, doing a lot better. I do think you have a DPS Moira, though, it looks like here. So I, th I think that might uh, be part of the problem. So you're playing this mind game here. Um, you saw your team there over on the far. I left there. I don't know. I might I might have pulled back here and then just come back around, you know, with your team because here you're at pretty big risk, I would say. You did kind of muted back up, which was good here. Repositioning, rotating. Okay. So your hit scan is dead. Um, okay, so the window, you're backing up. It's good rotation. Um, so this was really well done. You know, earlier with the window, you did kind of try to hold position, but um, here you, in my opinion, you backed up really nicely and um, you reacted, you looked at your team, um, and that was really helpful. So now you guys are all alive, and you actually got a pick. So most likely, you're going to win this fight here. Nice, I like that charge, that was good. The only thing is they did have a McCree there. He happened to be a little bit, like, back here. But if he had been up here, he could have very well stunned you, and you would have been could have gotten booped by a pharaoh also out of position like if you had been booped and hit here but in general i try to avoid charges like i would say that nine out of ten times when you think you should charge just don't do it <laughs> but uh there's just so many things that can go wrong and you have to land a perfect pin that's just it's at best, you can charge, like, you know, just short distances, but in, unless you really know what you're doing, but I find that, in general, it's best not to do it. Okay. Sort of, uh, I like that. You could have shattered there. Yep, okay, there we go. Got the DPS more over there. You know, I think... I don't know what your sensitivity is, but um, I would strongly consider that you, it, it may be a bit high here actually, because I did see you sort of flailing around a little bit. I might lower it just a little bit, actually. You want it higher than when you're DPS and stuff like that, but it does look like maybe you're just a little bit overshot. Um, a little overly sensitive with your movement there. Just a thought. I would just, I would just revisit that. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I wouldn't charge this. Okay, that was nice. Good job. So this is a very winnable match. Um. My thoughts on that were, 
you did really well. Um, I would have been looking back for my team a little bit more. I would be spending more time trying to learn the good sort of spots to hold as Reinhardt because I think there were some positions that you're holding that I would have probably not um, not done. Um, I would have used my shatter about two times more. Um, and what else would I have done? Those are my main thoughts on the initial first round. So let's see what happens in the next round. All right, so let's get into this next round and uh, see how you do. Looks like we haven't chosen any characters yet. Okay, that was strange. Let's see. Not sure why I did that. Okay, we've got Sombra. Same. The other team did switch. They do have a Junkrat and a Genji now, so um, no more Farah. It looks like you've got the same team here. Alright, so hopefully here you're going to be taking space. Um, you're not just going to be holding at the choke. Um, because I do see a lot of Reinhardt's just sort of holding like at the choke point and not moving in. And I find that to be, that's my big pet peeve. Um, but, uh, yeah, hmm. I... I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was a. Uh, I just yeah. I just wouldn't do that. I would go ahead and have just walked out because here now looks like you're gonna die here. I think possibly. Let's see. Yeah. I mean that was that was a pretty nutty charge. I, I'm not sure I've seen that before, but if you had a dive or something with you, that would have worked. But I do think that situation you were sort of the only one who made it there because you had rockets so you were basically dead um, before the rest of your team could get there except for your sombra okay Looking for that respawn so so I can tell you right now, like, especially against higher ranks, um, if the Junkrat could have put a trap there or something, I, I think this chart, you were, you're a little overcharging here. I think maybe you're frustrated or something, but I wouldn't have done that charge either. I probably would have just walked out because, look, you're sort of allowing them to take poke damage and you're up here sort of just, um, in no man's land. So I probably would have... Uh, we'll just walk out gently. You did land a juicy fire strike there, but he's beating you 76%. Because again, you were charging and feeding. Um, and so he's beating beating you on the uh, Earth Shatter battle. And that's really important. Again, the most important thing of, as a Rhine is to really battle the other Rhine, get your Shatter before him, shield, out shield him. Good hack. That was well done. Your DPS is strong in this, I mean, like, comparatively. Um, okay. I think one more thing that I think could really help you is before you fire strike, take an extra millisecond to just, like, should I hit this? I'm gonna wait. Okay, give it a second because I think I see a lot of random fire strikes. And if you're more purposeful about where you're throwing them, I think that could really help you a lot here. Alright, 
guys back. You take a lot of poke damage. So you had hmm, almost half your shield. Let's see what sort of happened there. He's it looks like you backed up, but um, sort of backed up in a position where I'll see if you had sort of seen where your team was. Just maybe more team oriented here. You might have because you kind of moved too far to the right. Um, that could have been your team's fault. But as a Reinhardt, I think it is important to try to take responsibility only because it will make you better. Um, it's harder, you know, it's hard to take it on your shoulders, but you'll become way better when everyone else blames others. So, you know, you, so see, uh, your healers got kind of... Poor Mercy. Good, I like the counter charge, however... Um, I have a feeling your team's gonna wipe here anyway, and if you had just moved over with your shield, you might have blocked the incoming um, poke damage. So the charge might have gotten one, but that's just that's just how I initially am reading you. Yeah, Cause you're dead, and they're probably gonna kill you. Okay, so it worked out okay there. That was so in the end. Maybe I just was overthinking that one. Okay, so you're, yeah, pushing to that. Take some space. You know they're gonna come out of this bottom hallway. Um, that was a good read. That was a really good read on that tire right there. So, okay, I have a really good technique here for you that I, um, that I find to be like really useful. Advanced Reinhardt technique. So the, the tires come in, and then you. What a junk rat tries to do is get the tire behind the shield, so you know he's gonna pop it over your shield behind you. So if you can just flip your shield behind you, like it works realistically 50, 50 30 to 50% of the time, but it's a very useful technique because most junk rats will do that. Some of them are much better at using their ult and they'll detonate in a better position, but I find it to be really useful. So. Mm, yeah, you're all dead. <laughs> okay. So you had your shatter. I mean, I might have tried to use it at an earlier point because I do feel like he might. I think he's used two shatters tier one, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so this is a good spot to use that chatter right here. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's, one, that's that was really nice. Now, unfortunately, we use three ults here, so it was a good time for you to use your chatter, but a lot of others use theirs. So I might have, oh, you might have wanted to hold on to that and let them just use the um, Bob and uh, EMP. I think that requires, I mean, I think with Reinhardt really being good with him, you need to probably be on your comms, making callouts and things like that, because if you had communicated, I think that might have been really uh, useful. A little bit over overextending here. pick. <clears throat> yeah. Interesting charge, that Ryan. Yeah, got pretty much owned right there. I was trying to do a cheeky, uh, I find the cheeky behind plays like that, like, yeah, they work sometimes and you feel amazing, <laughs> but consistently do they happen? I don't know. I see that a lot of people doing the charge, reverse charge on Hanamura like that. I don't, tr I try not to do it because the risk is usually not worth it. Sometimes it works and it's amazing. But then like, usually if there's a good DPS, they can stun you and you're, you're not going to make it. Okay, so we're taking space here. So... Have pushed onto this window here and tried to maybe take some space, not to let them come out so cleanly. He 
you would have had your shatter also just getting in there probably getting a fire strike off here they push down took space he used the shatter looks like it's gonna be a team wipe because we can see here um, Moira and Sombra are about to uh, yeah okay so we're just gonna reset here okay so let's continue here we're almost uh, finished here I wonder if you're gonna come out with the win let's I hope so keep my fingers crossed for you here Okay. Pushing you've got a good amount of time. Time management, very important at the higher levels as well. Um, you know, don't get, don't uh, freak out. You've got your shatter here. He's testing you. Unfortunately, beat you on that one. I would have probably tried to get a little more damage on the shield. The crazy charge paid off there. You see, not I, hmm. All right, so it looks like we're going to cap this here. All right, the Genji is really hurting them here. Yeah, I mean, that was really... That was a bad stagger. Definitely, you got to know when to die. Um, if I was that Genji, I would have run into the team and killed myself because ultimately he would have respawned. But now he's getting a bad spawn here. Your team is... Their team is down one. He uh, also had Blade, which was huge. Maybe that's why he didn't want to um, commit Sopoku because he, <laughs> he he knew that he could uh, you know make a difference with that blade. Okay, a lot of ults. They have six ults. Okay, we're moving in. That's probably the end here for your team here. Six ults. Yeah, I would just hold everything. Don't use that. Yeah, this is a team wipe. They did use two, three ults, looks like there. So, all right, you've got two, about two more pushes here. It might be two, three pushes if you're lucky. Um, so let's see. Okay, the rhyme's looking for that cheeky play. Again, look, see, he doesn't... Hmm. Okay, well, I guess you didn't see that. If we go back here, we can see. Let's just go back for a second. Look at that Reinhardt that you can see his outline. Because um, you do have that Sombra. So you had the sights, and you knew he was behind you here. So you want to always be watching where. Okay, that was a good. That was a good. Sh I like that reverse uh, block there, but he died anyway. I would have played that way differently, I think. It's bad res. Okay. So, let's see here. Looks like you're gonna go back around. So you got one minute, 20 seconds here. This is, we're kind of close. You lost, I mean, just with that whole sequence of events you lost like a minute almost that was good there you tried it again you know higher ranked Reinhardts are going to be able to read those plays um, there's Ari is doing a good job for the Reinhardt helping him keep him up that's for sure out of there. The Genji is not uh, so great at uh, resetting. Okay. I would I would take space here. I would I would have looked behind me, seen where everybody is, and I would have I would have probably popped in front of where you needed to be because you know, you're almost you're pushing in and you're taking space, you're not playing the point. That's one thing that's really important. I think you you could have pushed up. It would have been harder for them to take this spot. Like, the space that you take becomes harder. For, like, once you take it, it's harder for them to get it back. So, let's see here. 
I've got a lot of ults here. Okay, they're gonna use three of them. So you've got, it looks like you've got one more push here. Okay, we're charging in. Five seconds on the clock. Good shield. Good charge. There we go. That was nice. And it was a short charge. You see, there wasn't too much space. I would held my shield probably right there. And it looks like that is that. So, um, that was really well done. All right, so that was a great match. Um, first of all, just want to say, Vittorio, thank you so much for sending that in. Um, that was really a great uh, match. You played really well. I think, in conclusion, the most important things are looking back to see where your team is, Try and duel the other Reinhardt as much as possible. Keep track of his ult. Keep tra track of his shields. Um, try to figure out where he is at all times. Um, and I think that also, like, rotating as well might have been very beneficial. Just learning good positions to hold. Um, and lastly, charge a lot less. Like, 80% less. I think if you do charge, make sure it's just short. Um, short and sweet. So, um, but you played great, and I think that with some of these uh, small changes, you could easily rank up. Um, you had some good reflexes, you did some good moves there, you had some pretty sweet moves. Um, but you just need to make these small changes, and I think it will really benefit you. So, um, that all said, thank you so much. I hope this helps. And if you do have another video uh, that you want me to review, send it to NathanASMRs at gmail.com. 